Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, I'm back here keeping you all updated with the latest news and information in the Minecraft community. Today's video is for the PlayStation players, but not just PlayStation 4. This also includes PlayStation 3 and PS Vita. So I'm pretty sure you guys are all up to date now, but in case you're not, the console edition version has now been fully discontinued. The version of Minecraft that 4J Studios started in 2012 is no longer updated. Now, of course, if you do own it, you are still able to play it. There's a couple of updates missing uh, on Xbox. I think it's like the aquatic update. It's the village and pillage and the bees and maybe pandas uh, on PlayStation, somewhat similar. But you can still play those versions if you wanted to. In case you guys didn't know, by the way, 4J Studios are no longer classed as a Minecraft developer. Microsoft kind of ended the contract with them. 4J are now working on something completely different, which I think is a big mistake from Microsoft. They should never have got rid of 4J. They did such a fantastic version with the console versions. And even to this day, I think 4J should be in charge of Minecraft, PlayStation 4 Bedrock, Xbox Bedrock, and Switch Bedrock. But hey, I don't make the game. I don't make the choices. So, today's video, um, this information is coming from Minecraft. I know I'm going to receive a lot of comments about PlayStation. Hey, Echo, when a server's coming, when a realm's coming. I have seen a couple of other YouTubers saying they're coming this day or that day. Yeah, they're false rumors. Um, I've spoke directly with Minecraft and the server owners. They say there's no specific date. It's going to be a case of they're ready when they're ready. They're not coming with the Nether update or the Bees update or something like that. They're not coming with a specific update. They'll be introduced on their own. It's a case of flicking the switch, letting PlayStation players get realms and servers. I think a lot of the complications are down to money because of course PlayStation are gonna wanna take some of the money as well. So it must be down to contracts on, on who gets the earnings is what I, I'm, I, I think is currently happening at this moment. Anyway, on April 3rd, the official Minecraft Twitter account posted this saying, Dear PS3 and Vita players, we get it. You like retro. You don't mind a game full of pixels. But if you ever wanted to make the switch to PS4, now's the last month to convert your saves. So I think they did the same thing with 360 to Xbox One, a limited time on being able to transfer your worlds. Not quite sure why they've given us limited time, uh, but I think, I think the PlayStation players have, have had a lot less compared to Xbox to Xbox. I think they've reduced the time. So yeah, if you're still converting worlds, it's quite important that you listen to this. So it says on the article, enjoy saving your PlayStation game, PS3 and Vita players, your attention please. Make sure to save your games. And if you're playing Minecraft on PlayStation 3 or PS Vita, you need to take one extra step before the end of the month. Keep in mind that you need to have purchased PlayStation 4 edition in order to have in order to convert your save file. If you have any worlds that you want to keep, please convert your saved games to Minecraft PlayStation 4 edition before April 15th. It says those files can then be loaded into Minecraft Bedrock on PlayStation 4 once they've been opened in PlayStation 4 edition. So what are you waiting for? Question mark. April 14th? Question mark. Sure, you can do that. But after April 15th, you won't be able to convert your saved games anymore. Now, go and tell all your friends and anyone else that could be playing on PS3 or Vita. Tell them twice. You can never be too careful or too annoying. So, there is a limited date on being able to transfer your worlds from PlayStation 3 and PS Vita to the PlayStation 4 version. Not quite sure why. I really don't know the reason behind this. Uh, again, they did the same on, on Xbox. I think it's just trying to push everyone to PlayStation 4 and pushing everyone to the Bedrock version. As of me making this video, you're gonna have around about one week to do this. So do me a big favor, guys. If you have people who are still playing the other versions, share this video, like this video, tell your friends, tell your dogs, and tell, just tell the people who are still playing those versions because I know most people who are watching this video are probably hardcore or dedicated Minecraft players. You might not play it every day, but you play it quite frequently. So you probably did have Minecraft PlayStation 3 when it released. You probably had the Vita version as well. You probably progressed to the PlayStation 4 version. You might have older worlds that you think you're not gonna need, but I would recommend just transferring them anyway. Spend an hour, half an hour transferring your worlds. I did the same on Xbox, because later on down the line, it's simply not going to be possible. 
So that was the main thing in today's video, but I do want to take the time to go through a couple of things. My last video for Minecraft PlayStation was around about a month ago, and in between them, I received tons of comments. Uh, specifically about betas, etc. We'll go over that in today's video. So here's a couple of comments on my latest video. I don't really appreciate the Bedrock version on PS4. It's slow buggy and overcomplicates many things. Not to mention the store and characters take ages to load. The next one, plot twist. Bedrock edition is a disappointment. The next one, I'm enjoying it but still need realms. And the bottom one, I want servers. It's so boring now. So let's start from the top of those comments section. In terms of slowness and buggy, Xbox experienced the same thing, by the way. It, I'm not sure how long it's going to be, but this will get better. This will get ton, ton, like loads better. We had the same problem on Xbox, loading the store, loading the menus, loading your characters. It's laggy, it's buggy, it takes forever. We had the same problem on, on Xbox, PlayStation. So this will get ironed out, not sure when. Um, I know it's incredibly frustrating because there's a lot of bugs on the PlayStation version at this moment, but the game's not being updated. This is something I also agree on, and this is not just for PlayStation, this is for the whole entire Bedrock version. Whenever there's major bugs, the developers need to push out an update, instead of constantly waiting. So at the moment, what they do is they release a full version, then we get a beta, but in between then, there's tons of bugs in the older version that haven't been fixed. Then you're having to wait months and months for them to be introduced. Something that 4J did very well, when there was bugs and problems, you'd be waiting one, two weeks, month at a max, for those bugs to be squished. You wouldn't be waiting for the next major update. They would happily introduce bug fixes. Bug fixes are really important. There are so many problems with the Bedrock version and having to wait is such a big problem. It's even worse for PlayStation players and Switch players and, and sometimes other version players like iOS because there's no betas on those version. For me specifically, I play a lot of Xbox, been playing a lot of Windows 10 version a lot recently. It's easy for me to be in the beta and focus on those bugs. But again, they're not really useful at this moment because yeah, they're in beta, good. They're gonna be fixed, but they're not gonna be fixed for one, two, three months. Specifically, a lot of the issues that you guys are experiencing on PlayStation, those bugs get fixed in 1.16. 1.16, it's nether update. Yeah, nether update. Disappointment, you know why? Because you're gonna have to wait until summer for that update to be released. So I can see where, why there's a lot of frustration. I feel bug fixes need to be released more frequently. Uh, and then somebody else was like, we need realms and we need servers. Talking about realms and servers. Like I said at the start of the video, I think it's money related. That's the only thing I can, I can think of right now. I'm very surprised realms have not been pushed out at this moment. Um, because realms, it's great to have the ability to play with your friends and have a server always there rather than a world because at the moment the PlayStation players are basically experiencing bedrock the same way as console edition just more boogier and not every single feature because you can only join worlds if you're friends in the same world you can't join a realm um, but yeah, I don't know when they're being introduced. There's no official date or, or anything. You can go on YouTube and search it and you'll get false information. I'm telling you directly, there's no date or day that servers and realms will be released. Uh, the next set of comments we have here, one says, there is a problem with playing with friends. It tells me unable to connect to world. If anyone have a fix, tell me. If anyone could help him, we'll let him know. I hate how laggy the menus. Oh, why hasn't that been fixed? But overall, it's pretty good. I bought the Chroma Hills texture pack and have been using that as my main pack ever since. New update has removed the additions option on my PS4. Not happy. I bought the game for PlayStation, not a computer. Anyone happens? Anyone happens? Some weird thing that the doesn't appear the options edition. So yeah, some of you guys are still having the additions version not showing. I really don't know how to fix that. Basically, at the bottom of PlayStation, it should say Edition, so you can go from Editions to uh, from Bedrock to Editions, and from uh, the Editions to Bedrock. I really don't know about that, but it's good to see a comment from Isaac. Something I think is great is that we do have the marketplace. I know Java has texture packs for free. I know that, but I personally still believe in that. Uh, texture pack creators, map creators should still earn a little bit of revenue from the stuff that they create. Chrome Hills is a great pack, so it's good to see that. He's enjoying that, and I do think a lot of the Marketplace stuff today is, is a lot better compared to what it used to be like. It's higher quality, and as the updates develop, more add-ons will get better and stuff like that. Uh, the next one we have here from David is, do you know anything about 1.16 update on Minecraft PlayStation 4? So 1.16 is the nether update. I believe Minecraft and Mojang are aiming for a summer release. That being Minecraft Java and Minecraft Bedrock. They're the two core versions of Minecraft. 
at this moment. The, the additions version is gone. It's, it's Bedrock and it's Java. 1.16, they're aiming for summer release. Unfortunately, like I said, PlayStation 4 do not have beta access. They can't test these features, which sucks because it's limited, right? If you're on Java, you can have snapshot. Everyone can have the snapshot. Um, yeah, so there's no official release day or date, but I believe they're aiming for summer. But again, a lot of the major bugs that people are experiencing on PlayStation are fixed in 1.16 because I've read every single change log since 1.15. Um, there's no 1.15 version because they combined 1.15 with 1.16. Another big mistake that they made because they should have released 1.15, which fixes bugs. And we just go around in circles at this moment. Uh, the last one we have here, which I think is a pretty good comment and something that a lot of PlayStation players are frustrated with. The fact that I can't pause when I want to stop playing for a sec is garbage. And the fact they can't implement such a basic feature is such a letdown. So I think on console edition, if you pause it, your game is frozen and then you can restart it. Uh, this is also linked to not being able to s exit without saving. That has been something else that a lot of people have been requesting as well, being able to exit without saving. It's not available yet. And something else that's really frustrating for me, especially if I'm on Xbox or if I'm on PlayStation, uh, we don't have gamma setting. Gamma setting was a really key feature on the additions version, so you could brighten up your version. The reason why is because you can brighten up your phone. Uh, and don't forget, this is ported from mobile to console. Games don't typically do that. The way games are typically ported, they go from PC to console to phone, not from phone to PC to console. That is why there's a lot of complications with this. And I don't want to say Bedrock is terrible because it does offer a lot of cool things. And with time, it will get better. All I can say is PlayStation, Xbox was 10 times worse on release. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say there. But I know it's frustrating, uh, but I wanted to get this video out for you guys and just talk a little bit about PlayStation because I don't typically play on PlayStation. To be honest, guys, I've not been typically playing on Xbox because the Xbox Bedrock version is not that great. I've been playing a lot of Windows 10 version because it's a lot easier uh, for videos. Apart from that, guys, have a great day. Stay beautiful. Anything you want me to add, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. I'll do my best to respond to them. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.